Once you've connected to a device, you simply click on Configure to set up and start the logger. We're going to tap on Configure. And what this will show me is the different settings that we can have. So we can set our label here, which this ends up being at the top of your graph and also your file name when you go to share your data. You can attach it to a group. Uh, so if you want to organize by groups, you can set your logging interval. And once you're here, you can just take the spinny thing and spin it. And as you can also see, it'll then change the logging duration and tell you how long it's going to potentially run for. And we hit done. You can set how you, how you want the logger to start. So there's a couple different start logging options, whether you have it start now at the next one minute interval. You can have it start with a push button or you can have it start on a particular uh, date and time. We'll go back and just have this start recording now and we hit done. And same with the stop logging options. You can have this set up so that it stops when the memory is full or it never stops recording so it overwrites the oldest data. You can stop it with the push buttons, whether through the Hobo Mobile app or on the MX1101 itself. And you can also have it start at a particular stop at a particular date and time or after a particular period. But we'll set this up so when the memory fulls and we'll hit done. In terms of setting up your sensors and alarm setup, you tap on this and it will bring you over to the alarm so if you want to enable an alarm you just tap on it anywhere and then you move the slidey bar across or you can tap in that particular section which will bring up the keyboard and you can type in something more specific and we hit done uh, you can also have this set up so an audible alarm will happen so we can turn this on here and it's going to prompt you to basically this will beep every 30 seconds once it goes outside of range. And finally, how do you want to maintain the, the visual alarms, um, whether it's by an, uh, a button press or if the sensor comes back in the limits. And finally, some of the advanced features where you can leave your LCD on or turn it off. Uh, and then we have the advanced logging modes as well. So you can set it up at a fixed interval so it wakes up every minute and takes a recording. Over that time frame you could have it do statistics. So if you want to get uh, let's say the average min and max over that one minute interval you could then have it, let's say we'll have it take a sample every five seconds. Select done. And there's other logging modes, one called the burst. So if you go above a particular threshold it will actually log at a faster logging rate. But we'll go ahead and hit done here. And basically that's how easy it is to configure your logger. At this point we have it the way that we want it and I'll come up to the upper right and hit start. It's going to send the information out to the logger and we are off and running. As you can see immediately I tripped one of my alarms here. Uh, so we can page it so you can hear what it sounds like. But what I'll do is just clear the audible alarm right through the app. And we have now cleared that. So very quick and simple, you can get in here, configure, set up, and start your Hobo MX 1101 using the Hobo mobile app.